Welcome also from my side. Uh, uh, and as you can guess, I'm going to talk about technology, but not only about technology, but Dockerware as a technology leader, or as I called it, uh, it's not even here, uh, best in class uh, technology. Yeah, Dockerware is a pioneer of document management. So, and the goal was always to be a step ahead of the competition, to be a leader in the domain. And as we could listen to also to Jürgen Biffer's uh, talk, detecting trends, following trends, and even setting trends was always one of our uh, main activities. But um, yeah, to bring down these trends to a product, to really to the road, the innovation behind to really um, bring this to success. This is something we had always in our DNA. So really to bring this to a leadership, to a step ahead uh, <coughs> in document management. Maybe some short examples um, from the innovation side. Maybe some of you can remember this. So at that time, we already had uh, scanning technology in the fastest way. We already provided also the as first provider, uh, Windows GUI. We all ha also had as a first provider an email client, our own email client. We were using uh, CD Recordable as a medium, as one of the first uh, provider also for our system. And um, in addition, also in the mid end 90s, we already uh, implemented the internet server, which was, as I call it, the first, uh, first generation web client. But yeah, leading by innovation uh, implain or requires also leading by technology, technology leader. So the focus of the development was always to exploit the newest technologies we have available to really um, bring a new integrated document management in the most comfortable way, most easiest way out uh, with our products. So all this investment, what we've done in the last years, this is not the end, so this is uh, not by itself uh, usable. So the only goal is the, is, is the highest um, uh, benefit from your side, from also customer side, and this is really your satisfaction with the product, your, um, your enthusiasm to the product, and also for our customers. So let me um, give you a little bit more insight um, on this correlation between continuous innovation flow, which we brought in the last years with uh, our systems, and on the other hand, with the utilized newest technologies which were um, behind. So um, <clears throat> let's watch together some of the major milestones. I hope you can also read it in the background, um, but I didn't want to split it in several slides, otherwise you couldn't see uh, the nice uh, shape of the curve, I would say. So. Um, <clears throat> Let's start in 2003. 2003, we brought uh, Dockerware 5 on the market. Um, it was based on the new and really uh, nice service-oriented architecture. Very new thing at that time implemented on uh, .NET C Sharp, which is still the current uh, architecture behind the system. Then 2008 um, followed Dockerware. Uh, version 5 web client. So here we were really a pioneer in our industry. So this was, uh, in our recall, the first uh, web client implemented in ASP.NET. And uh, this I call second generation web client. And this was ASP.NET means it was rendering on the server side, um, which was the state of the art technology also at that time. 2009 followed uh, our SaaS offering. Also here, we were a leader. We were a step ahead of the others in the market. And um, 2010 followed our first generation mobile application. So here we were taking up the trend of the new capabilities of the smartphones, which were really offering us also new, uh, yeah, new capabilities, new use cases. And we were bringing out uh, specifically on this time for Apple devices, native clients uh, for smartphone and tablets. And uh, on the other side, we uh, launched at this time Smart Connect. So Smart Connect was the follower of Dockerware Link, but with a completely new technology approach, basically with the, the designer, the configurator uh, as a web application. At that time, really uh, the only technology we could uh, use for this implementation of such advanced interaction methodologies was Silverlight, and we could really 
provide this as a very comfortable, very easy way of configuring Smart Connect uh, configurations. 2011, we completed our mobile devices with uh, an HTML5, with the first HTML5 implementation of, um, of a, a mobile device client. At that time, uh, and the same, also available for Android and Blackberries, at the same time also Silverlight application for um, Windows Phone 7. All this was already at that time based on the first uh, version of this new REST API, the REST ATP HTTP interface. 2012, you see it's going a little bit uh, more now, 2012, uh, B was really um, marked by the launch of Docker 6. Docker 6 brought um, the complete version of the web client, as we could say. So here we had very uh, huge um, investments also to bring it to a feature completeness. Um, we were also focusing at the same time uh, on PDF, PDFA on the technology side. In addition, we offered uh, Dockerware Online. So this came to the market also 2012, uh, where we invested on the technology side, really on more online specific uh, architecture and also technologies. Then what we heard also, the trend with the upcoming file share system. So here already 2012, we had the first connector, the connect to Dropbox, which was a synchronization mechanism between Dropbox and Dockerware. So as a first DMS provider really embracing this world of the upcoming, upcoming uh, file hosting providers. And uh, the, the fourth thing in uh, 2012 was the Windows 8 application. Also here, we were one of the first business applications in the Microsoft App Store, and even Microsoft went with our application to their marketing activities. Now, 2013. Uh, it's coming closer, so we had uh, the launch of the new um, intelligent indexing uh, service. So here really world-class, brilliant uh, technology, all our own property with the base algorithms in the background to automatic classification and index extraction. And uh, three other modules we even in addition launched in 2013, so one was the workflow. Workflow was based or is based on Microsoft uh, Workflow Foundation. And uh, here we can also benefit from the nice designer from the workflow, the graphical designer, which makes the design of the workflows much easier than to do it by hand. The other module is the connect to mail. Also here we're taking up the trend that there are existing, in this case, uh, Google Mail providers or Google Mail provides. And we have to also to archive this kind of uh, new data, new documents coming from there. Maybe one thing I, I should mention also, Microsoft Azure is listen, uh, listed here. So the intelligent indexing service is um, the first service we also uh, provided on this new technology, Microsoft Azure, it's a new platform. And also here we were at that time really one of the first really business uh, services on, on the Microsoft Azure world. And the last but not least application or innovation is our new uh, paper scan app we also launched in 2013 with really also very new world-class uh, mechanisms on automatic triggering the uh, image uh, taking from the mobile phone, from the smartphone, and also the document recognition on the smartphone. So for this, we invested very heavily in image, rec image recognition on the smartphone and an old completely new technology base. So from 2012 on, we also uh, protected all these base uh, concepts, base innovation by going for patents, specifically also for intelligent indexing and for uh, um, paper scan in the US and also in, in Germany. So you can see, uh, yeah, large uh, innovations over the years. We can really see the, the strong and big innovation power and the technology leadership of Dockerware with this roadmap, I must say. And um, yeah, now the question is, what's new? What's the next 2014? What's coming with Dockerware 6.5? Internet World Wide Web are unique, ubiquitously um, available, meanwhile, are penetrating all areas of life. And of course, we, are, we were also taking up this trend and invested in this area since the last years, I must say. So really concentrated on web development, we already 
also concentrated on, on HTTP as a standard protocol in the web to connect and to talk. Uh, and also the third thing is to address um, the further client uh, software platform diversification, so which also happens out there. So the out outcome of all these investments and all these developments is a real future-proof um, web architecture. So we have uh, here, with this I must say, really a big step ahead compared to our competitors. So no one has this at the moment for so far as I know. And um, there are three main parts in this uh, architecture. So one is the Dockerware platform. The other thing is the web client. And the third thing are the so-called Dockerware apps. And I'm going to talk about this uh, now a little bit more in detail to make you more understand uh, about the architecture. So Dockerware platform <coughs> is uh, based um, or running at the IIS, replacing um, the currently uh, known web instances. It's running once per computer, and it, you really can ex access it by a fixed address. And this platform has an API, or the platform is really the link between uh, the server side and client side, and as an API, you need quickly uh, the access from all the clients to our services. So it's really covering the services uh, in a one, one interface. That means also it's independent of uh, which client you're using, how the client is implemented. So and, uh, is it running locally or on the cloud? Who implements this? So it's either you as a partner or we as a Dockerware. So this is completely um, independent. And since we are also using HTTP, HTTPS as a protocol, of course you can have uh, access to Dockerware and Dockerware services now from every uh, internet capable device which is mostly running a browser and having a web client. So that means also you can access from your TV, from your refrigerator or whatever you have at home as a nice household appliance and you would like to read your recipes over Dockerware. So <clears throat> maybe a little deeper, uh, since it's a technology presentation, um, sorry for this, but <laughs> a little bit deeper for the programming interface. So in my own, our opinion, it's a very high performant interface. It's uh, really an HTTP interface and the REST, REST-based, REST means it's the underlying way of uh, modeling resources in the internet. So it's a very common way of uh, modeling. Uh, we also have an um, XML schema definition for the data which are transmitted over the, the line and both. So this REST modeling as well as these um, um, XSD are the, also the basis for documentation. So it's more or less auto-documented uh, interface. The web client functionality is uh, completely available over the, um, over the uh, Dockerware <coughs> platform and this is all already supported. And in addition, we provide also a .NET um, API for them, for the, for the ones they would like to implement uh, uh, C-sharp clients. So and this is available for free on NewJet. Benefit, uh, innovations and benefit on this side. So this Dockerware platform for us uh, is the future and it's a stable concept for the next years. So it also will replace GAPI, it will replace JAPI uh, and will replace uh, web services. It's just at the timeline, we still have to communicate, but this is uh, for sure. And uh, whenever you already start implementing new integrations, so please uh, start using the new uh, platform API. On the other hand, it's a the API is future-proof. Since we are using HTTP, it's a standard protocol in the internet that will remain, and we also will take measures that we are backwards compatible. So that always, here we will uh, still take care. On the other hand, Dockerware um, services are almost completely available through standard ports and protocols. 